Austenite, also known as gamma phase iron, is a metallic, non-magnetic allotrope of iron or a solid solution of iron, with an alloying element. In plain carbon steel, austenite exists above the critical eutectoid temperature of 1000 K. Other alloys of steel have different eutectoid temperatures. It is named after Sir William Chandler Roberts Austin. Allotrope of iron, from 912 to 1394 degrees Celsius alpha iron undergoes a phase transition from body-centered cubic to the face-centered cubic configuration of gamma iron, also called austenite. This is similarly soft and ductile but can dissolve considerably more carbon. This gamma form of iron is exhibited by the most commonly used type of stainless steel for making hospital and food service equipment. Austenitization. Austenitization means to heat the iron, iron-based metal, or steel to a temperature at which it changes crystal structure from ferrite to austenite. An incomplete initial austenitization can leave undissolved carbides in the matrix. For some ions, iron-based metals, and steels, the presence of carbides may occur during the austenitization step. The term commonly used for this is two-phase austenitization. Ostempering. Ostempering is a hardening process that is used on iron-based metals to promote better mechanical properties. The metal is heated into the austenite region of the iron cementite phase diagram and then quenched in a salt bath or other heat heat extraction medium, that is between temperatures of 300 to 375 degrees Celsius. The metal is annealed in this temperature range until the austenite turns to binite or osferite. By changing the temperature for austenitization, the ostempering process can yield different and desired microstructures. A higher austenitization temperature can produce a higher carbon content in austenite, whereas a lower temperature produces a more uniform distribution of ostempered structure. The carbon content in austenite as a function of ostempering time has been established. Behavior in plain carbon steel. As austenite cools, it often transforms into a mixture of ferrite and cementite as the carbon diffuses. Depending on alloy composition and rate of cooling, perlite may form. If the rate of cooling is very swift, the alloy may experience a large lattice distortion known as martensitic transformation in which it transforms into a BCT structure instead of into cubic lattice ferrite and cementite. In industry, this is a very important case, as the carbon is not able to diffuse due to the cooling speed, which results in the formation of hard martensite. The rate of cooling determines the relative proportions of martensite, ferrite, and cementite, and therefore determines the mechanical properties of the resulting steel, such as hardness and tensile strength. Quenching followed by tempering will transform some of the brittle martensite into tempered martensite. If a low hardenability steel is quenched, a significant amount of austenite will be retained in the microstructure. Behavior in cast iron. Heating white hyper-eutectic cast iron above 727 degrees Celsius causes the formation of austenite in crystals of primary cementite. This austenization of white iron occurs in primary cementite at the interface boundary with ferrite. When the grains of austenite form in cementite, they occur as lamella clusters oriented along the cementite crystal layer surface. Austenite is formed formed by withdrawal of carbon atoms from cementite into ferrite. Stabilization. The addition of certain alloying elements, such as manganese and nickel, can stabilize 
the austenitic structure, facilitating heat treatment of low alloy steels. In the extreme case of austenitic stainless steel, much higher alloy content makes this structure stable even at room temperature. On the other hand, such elements as silicon, molybdenum, and chromium tend to destabilize austenite, raising the eutectoid temperature. Austenite is only stable above 910 degrees Celsius in bulk metal form. However, the use of a face-centered cubic diamond cubic substrate allows the epitaxial growth of FCC transition metals. The epitaxial growth of austenite on the diamond face is feasible because of the close lattice match and the symmetry of the diamond face's FCC. More than a monolayer of gamma iron can be grown because the critical thickness for the strained multilayer is greater than a monolayer. The determined critical thickness is in close agreement with theoretical prediction. Austenite transformation and Curie point. In many magnetic alloys, the Curie point, the temperature at which magnetic materials cease to behave magnetically, occurs at nearly the same temperature as the austenite transformation. This behavior is attributed to the paramagnetic nature of austenite, while both martensite and ferrite are strongly ferromagnetic. Thermo-optical emission. During heat treating, a blacksmith causes phase changes in the iron carbon system in order to control the material's mechanical properties, often using the annealing, quenching, and tempering processes. In this context, the color of light or black body radiation emitted by the work piece is an approximate gauge of temperature. Temperature is often gauged by watching the color temperature of the work. With the transition from a deep cherry red to orange red to 871 degrees Celsius, corresponding to the formation of austenite in medium and high carbon steel, in the visible spectrum, this glow increases in brightness as temperature increases, and when cherry red the glow is near its lowest intensity and may not be visible in ambient light. Therefore, blacksmiths usually austenize steel in low light conditions, to help accurately judge the color of the glow. Maximum carbon solubility in austenite is 2.03% C at 1420 K. 